Hello, my name is Christian Walter, Trading with Know-how and Transparency. Today we want to talk about penny stocks and uh, we want to see which different types of penny stocks uh, are available, what is a penny stock and how to find the best penny stocks. Also with some examples of really high volume and penny stocks. And if you would like more about videos uh, to these topics, please subscribe here to our channel. Don't forget to activate the bell and uh, to not miss any of our upcoming videos. Also, if you have any comments or any um, other topics you want to talk about, just leave a comment. We will be happy to provide here some more information for um, other topics. Yeah, penny stock, like the name says it already, it's um, yeah, related to small cap companies um, with a price under $1 or $5. And it was uh, regulated by the Fed who says like uh, trading for a penny it means uh, this is uh, where the name came from. And most of them have a very low liquidity, means uh, there's also a big spread. If you want to buy them, um, you have to yeah, invest much more to find someone who is um, selling them. That's also um, considered as a high risk um, investment because uh, penny stocks, uh, they're quite volatile. So you can also, of course, lose a lot, but it also gives you big chances. And I think um, yeah, as an extra investment of some of your gains or um, some interesting um, side investments for the portfolio. It's really interesting to have a look on uh, penny stocks. We want to show you here how to find the best um, examples, how to find the ones where there's volume at the moment and uh, big volatility. Also, if you want to know more about the penny stocks, we have a playbook. The link you find in the bio below or on our website where you can download this for free. And there are also some really interesting examples of some um, of these penny stocks. Now we want to have a look how to find them and how to trade them. Most of penny stocks, they were traded OTC over the counter, so not traded directly on the floor. But today we want to have a look on some really interesting penny stocks, uh, which are traded directly on the floor. Yeah, we have here a screening tool, especially for TradeStation 10.0, and it's also available for TradeStation 9.5 so whoever is a trade station already a trade station user he can just send us a message or leave a comment we are happy to write the screener and also our tools we have some really simple tools uh, where we scan for volume uh, volume and volume change and um, we can sort all this um, penny stocks um, after a huge volume change we see here for example in a light green everything what is more than 500 percent in the volume change if there's a call or put options we can also screen for this and also for a big percentage change in the last month or um, yeah, depending on the last uh, few months so you can really see what are interesting uh, penny stocks um, also maybe multi backer penny stocks uh, which i will explain later here in the video as well and to see two examples i want to go to the first one what is UBX and we will have a look here on a chart. Um, what we already saw in this screen is the huge volume increase. What we have here, almost um, 100 million shares were traded yesterday. You can also see um, that the stock yeah, closed one day earlier with uh, 85 cents and yesterday it already opened with $1.80. Here, yeah, I think if you have a quick look, what was the reason for it? Uh, most probably it was um, the earnings. Okay, there's it's no information about the earnings, but in the next example, we can see it pretty easy and simple. There's uh, LRMR. It's uh, also a biotech company. And if we have a look here on the chart, the volume increase was already one day earlier. We had here a price below two dollars. Of course, you can say normally penny stocks is below one dollar, but um, yeah, the definition is not so clear. And I would say even um, stocks below three or four dollar, we can count it all to this um, um, yeah range of um, penny stocks. And that's exactly what we want. What we want to see because um, volume increased one day earlier, and yesterday there was a jump almost 50% um, of the price from the day before. So that's exactly for what we need this um, screener. And the reason here for Larry Mar Therapeutics is 
if we check Finbis earnings, um, which yeah, are responsible for this huge jump. But the interesting thing is that um, somebody already bought a few stocks um, before the earnings were announced. So exactly this is what we are looking for here in the screener. And like I said, you can um, sort them percentage wise by a volume change, but I can also see what are huge um, um, changes in a, on a monthly basis. There we also have a few um, stocks here. Of course, it's also important to always have a look um, on the volume itself. But I think this example is um, yeah, quite impressive because um, that's exactly for what you need such a screener. The volume increase here started by the end of July. And if we have a look um, on the price, yeah, it was, I think, two cents. Two days ago, it was almost 30 cents. You can make a few hundred percents um, on this um, interesting stocks. It's all almost it's based on the volume. And uh, what I said earlier, especially here, it's very interesting. I mean, it's comparing to what you can gain is a low risk because at the end, what I can lose, I can only lose the two cents, which I invested here. But um, yeah, on top of it, if I see it was almost 30 cents, yeah, the calculation is pretty easy. If I have a portfolio with 10 of these stocks, nine can go like bankrupt, I would say. One of these will always put my portfolio um, yeah, into profit. And on a weekly basis, you can see it also um, much better. The last three weeks volume increased um, step by step. Like I said, this is also traded over the counter as so an OTC um, stock. But um, yeah, everyone who is already a TradeStation user and who wants to have this workspace or the screening tools, just leave a message here. We are happy to provide you this information, um, no matter if you're TradeStation Global or TradeStation Securities comes customer. Which different types uh, of penny stocks are existing? We have um, yeah, multi-backer penny stocks. Uh, there's not a clear definition. It just um, means that a uh, yeah, a stock, a penny stock can increase um, from the price in a few days above a hundred percent. And um, if there's a lot of buyers, the increase will go very rapidly. And um, on the other hand side, we also have uh, debt-free penny stocks. What is interesting in a really volatile market, then it's uh, really interesting to have them in your portfolio as they have no debts um, and maybe also um, a good liquidity. Yeah, when we compare now penny stocks to normal stocks, what's the difference? Uh, the historical data on the one hand side is there's um, not a high liquidity, there's not enough prices. Some of the penny stocks, um, they don't move at all because there's not much information about the company. Also, um, some companies are close maybe to be bankrupt. That's all things what you have to check before you invest in penny stocks. On the other hand side, the big benefit of uh, high, um, yeah, high, high profitable returns, what can small investment be reached. So I think it's really interesting to get the yeah, most interesting penny stocks from a screener or here like I showed you from the TWS. And I think later I will show you some good examples how to screen some of these um, penny stocks. And like I said, in the handbook below in the playbook about penny stocks, you will find also all this information and some examples um, and how we found these penny stocks. The other benefit of um, penny stocks is also the low cost, depending of course on your broker. But if you have a flat rate or like one of the cheapest brokers, you really pay per share a very small amount. And for, for brokers, you can also see the video here where we give you some examples and some really good broker comparing to the commissions, especially in the US where most of the penny stocks are traded. Yeah, what are the benefits of uh, penny stocks? Um, of course, you can hunt here for small um, companies who maybe in the future will be really coming uh, to a big um, player, to a normal stock, I would say. And it's interesting to really get some um, penny stocks to make 100 or 200, 300% what is easily to find if you know the right tools. And um, on the other hand side, you have also like a high volatility in the penny stock. What makes it more interesting? if you really need some volatility comparing to um, normal stocks. 
And of course, it's also interesting for small accounts. If you have a small trading account um, and you can only take um, great fractional shares, you can check for really interesting um, penny stocks. And like I said, um, if you find the right one with some good volume, um, then there's a really good probability with the right money management uh, to get some really nice profit out of it. And if you trade penny stocks, it's really interested and uh, I would say required to uh, check um, all the details for the company, what the company is doing, the reports, uh, because it's not like all the big stocks where everyone um, is checking them and giving ratings. You can really find some interesting business models um, here with um, penny stocks. And um, like I already said a few times, you really have to check the volume, find um, good um, spreads and um, where you always have the chance to sell them also to a good price um, with the right money management before it goes down too much. I think it's a really good extra investment for your maybe existing portfolio, but on the other hand side, if you want to start and um, have a small portfolio, I recommend to do this in a paper trading account in the beginning to really get a feeling for it because it's an interesting market and you can really find yeah, a good um, niche, I would say, to invest here with some really interesting penny stocks. Yeah, that's everything for the moment. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment uh, if you want to talk about any other penny stock.